Hey Stitch Cutie, I'm Brittany with Stitches of Love Quilting and I would like to welcome you to the YouTube block of the month. This is such a fun quilt to make and I know you're going to have so much fun stitching along with us every month. So before we get started, I wanted to go over just a few frequently asked questions and let you know what to expect every month as a member of this club. Now first, you'll remember that this is a collaboration between myself and Julie here at Stitches of Love Quilting and our dear friend Amy of Amy Brucken Designs. So this project is also available originally from her as a cross stitch project, which is so much fun to make as well. And then we've had the opportunity to work with her and turn it into a quilt that you know and love, the U Troop. So let's first get started with what to do with your binder. So no matter when you join, your very first block is going to come with a cover for your binder, a back cover for your binder, and then it's got the little edge of your binder so that you can sit this on a shelf in your home or in your sewing room. And then of course the pattern is gonna be formatted to fit in that binder every single month. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you a quick tip for putting this in your binder. Now the actual white binder is not included in the club. You can pick it up at any office store. You can order it online. There are only a few bucks. We recommend um, a one inch binder. It just gives you plenty of space. Now to put your binder edge, if you try and put it in while your binder's closed, you're just gonna battle this binder and you're gonna battle the little binder edge and it's not gonna be fun. So the trick is to lay it flat and this little guy is gonna slide right in. So with it flat, just start pushing it in and just like that, this will slide all the way down and you're gonna have a really nice edge to your binder. See, so when it's sitting on your shelf, you'll know exactly what project it is. And if you're a member of more than one of our block of the months, you'll have a nice binder for all of them, especially with the newer block of the months, I should say. So now I'm gonna put the front cover in. The front cover also is really nice because it gives you an expectation of what block is coming next. So no matter what month you join, you're always going to renew on the 8th of the following month. So let's just say you join on April 20th, your first block will renew on May 8th and that first block you'll receive will be the May block. If you join on June 22nd, the first block you receive will be on July 8th and it'll be the July block, so on and so forth. So it's always a 13 month club. So you're gonna have um, 12 months of the individual blocks. And then that 13th month that you remember, you get your entire finishing kit, which is really fun. Um, it's all your borders and your binding. And if you pay attention to the picture, you'll notice that it's a scrappy binding and it's so cute. Mom has tricks to share with us at the end for how to make sure you get that scrappy binding without any bulk. A lot of good tips that she has. And then of course the back is another cute close-up picture of each block. It's just so much fun and such a happy way to keep your pattern every month. So inside your box every month, you will receive a pattern that has the three holes punched already for you so that you can put that in your binder. You'll also have a full size placement guide there you go, which is handy for all of you who are doing the machine applique version, or if you've added on those machine embroidery files, you'll still use this placement guide to trim your blocks. So just a really helpful piece of paper. So every month you'll put that in your binder and you'll put your placement guide in the back sleeve. So let's talk about what to expect in your box. So first off every month, I mean, how cute is this box? I know that all of you are looking forward to getting this every single month. And a lot of you have already commented that you got your first one and you already can't wait for your second one. So that means the world to us. And we're so glad that you're looking forward to this entire project. So inside your box every month, like I said, you'll have your pattern. You're also going to have your background fabric. Now we give you an oversized piece of fabric. You're definitely going to trim a lot of this um, at the end, but you know, you'll have more than you need to work with for your block. And it's a really fun um, Bella solid fabric every single month. And you're also going to have all of what I'm calling the block borders. They're really just the little pieces that go around the block, but I'm calling them block borders. So every month you're gonna have four different really cute colors. Now these are from QT Fabrics and they're the fun little um, spots on them. They're kind of like squares with an outline of black on them. They're just the cutest fabrics in such fun colors every single month. 
Now, I know a lot of you, if you're like me, if you're working on something that's sort of scrappy, you want to make sure you don't have colors next to each other or you wanna make sure you get that nice scrappy look, we've taken all of that guesswork out for you because you're getting the exact fabrics that you see on the cover. So you're never gonna have to worry about which fabric to put on the top or side or bottom of each block. You're gonna have specific instructions in the pattern so that your block is that perfect look of scrappy colors. Now, one of the best parts about our clubs is that all of your applique pieces are pre-fused with heat and bond light and they're laser cut to the exact size and shape that you need. So when you get your box, no matter if you're doing machine applique or machine embroidery, you're ready to peel the backing off your applique pieces, press your fabrics, and within, I would say, 15 minutes of getting your box, you could truly be sewing. I mean, that's just so much fun. It makes me really happy and I'm sure it makes you happy too. So every month as well, you'll have video tutorials. You'll have a video tutorial that shows you how to build your applique units on your background fabric for those of you doing machine applique. And then for those of you doing machine embroidery, you'll also have a tutorial that's gonna walk you through step-by-step -step on how to use those add-on files every month. Then, no matter which way you're doing it, machine applique or machine embroidery will come together in a final video every month that shows you how to actually build that block, meaning cut those four fabrics to the exact size and sew them on to um, your applique background so that you have the perfect block every month. So that's a quick overview of how things are gonna work in your block of the month. Of course, if you ever have questions throughout the process, you can always reach out to us here at Stitches of Love Quilting. All you do is email orders at stitchesoflovequilting.com. You can also send us a Facebook message or give us a call on the phone line, which is listed on our support page. Please keep in mind that we do sleep sometimes. So if you message us in the middle of the night or you call us at eight o'clock at night, we do sleep and eat dinner. So sometimes you have to wait a little bit to get in touch with us, but I promise we'll get back with you as fast as we can. And a fun little surprise, if you haven't received it in the mail yet, be on the lookout when you join this club, you'll be on the lookout for just a plain white envelope in your mailbox. It's not in the fancy box, but this is a surprise bonus project. And what you get to make is this cute little, you can use it as a little pillow in your home. You can use it as an oversized pin cushion. You can use it as a bowl filler. It's just a really fun project to get you started while you wait on your first box. And this includes all of the fabric you need, and of course the pieces are prefused and laser cut. And for those of you that added on the embroidery files, you can access those embroidery files to make the entire thing all the way to completion in the hoop. It's really fun for this project. It's um, an eight by 12 hoop that you need if you wanna add on those embroidery files. And for those of you doing machine applique, you just need your sewing machine and your favorite buttonhole stitch. And I do wanna mention, we've had a ton of requests for thread kits. We do already have those available. So we have, for those of you that are doing the machine applique, we have two thread kits for you. We have a 30 weight and a 50 weight. So mom and I like to do machine applique with a 50 weight bobbin thread and then a 30 weight in our needle. We use sulky threads for that. And we like to match the needle and the bobbin thread color so you have the perfect buttonhole stitch. So again, if you're doing machine applique, you'll wanna pick up the 30 weight and the 50 weight cotton thread kits. Then for those of you who are obsessed with machine embroidery, like me, that's who will be doing the tutorials for that every month. We have a 40 weight sulky rayon thread kit that is just scrumptious. And it's the first time we're offering them on the petite spool. So you get a ton of colors at a really great price point. And we're excited to get to bring that to you with our friends at Sulky. So again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. If you're watching this and you're not a member yet, come on, what are you waiting for? It's a super fun project to make every month with us. And I know that it'll just be a quilt that you treasure for many, many, many years. And if you're like our family, you're gonna battle over who gets to keep it because we all want it. <laughs> it's a good problem to have. So all of you stay safe, stay healthy, and happy stitching.